guys, welcome to a new video. So I'm especially excited for this one. Obviously, I'm an AD carry main. I know a lot of you guys are as well. But even if you're not, this is actually going to make quite a big difference to the games we play because it's going to be less coin flip bot lane, um, better bot wins, all of that stuff for this season. It's not going to be like that anymore. We're going to have a lot more pressure on AD carries early to do well. If they don't, they're going to suck for a long time. Um, you're going to be able to kill AD carries a lot easier. And late game, they're going to be doing a lot less damage. So we're going to go into these changes. We're going to talk about what the reworks are actually going to be. We have like a couple of item reworks. We have a new key. Stone, a new item for AD carries as well, and it is going to impact pretty much every single role. It's going to really impact the game. Getting into the first of the actual changes, we're looking at the crit items. Infinity Edge is getting a rework here, less impactful early on with passives that make it less powerful against early game targets, more dependent on scaling through the game as a standalone item. It's still extremely powerful later on, of course, but basically what this is saying is you don't want to rush this item anymore. It's not guaranteed needed for a crit build. You could get other things as well. But this will be really, really strong late game because of a passive that we're going to show you in a second. Simple efficiency nerfs to zeal items. What this means by changing my tab, price increases basically. So zeal items are going to be more expensive. Shiv, rapid fire can, all of that will be more expensive. It means it, it takes longer to get to your crit uh, strike thresholds, I guess, and actually be impactful in the game. What they're really talking about more than anything is a two item spike here for AD carries. Fitzy Edge and Zeal makes uh, crit carry marksman just way too strong, basically. And uh, even if you get behind, like Caitlyn, you're going to be too uh, too strong when you get to two items, so it doesn't really matter. But they're going to push that back, so crit champions will now come online at like three, maybe four items. So from one, two, three items in a game, crit AD carry is going to be worse. And then from like three, four, five, they should be a little bit better or a little bit stronger. Partially, we're going to go down and I'll show you, show you the Infinity Edge change here. Using a late game burst, a crit marksman deal to squishy targets because the uh, affinity edge update, so they're not going to have the 50% crit damage increase on that 50% crit damage increase on there as a passive anymore, which is a big reason why crits really, really hurt on a late game target, especially when you have a lot of crit and AD behind them. So that's going to be removed. But now you're going to have uh, some of your crit uh, changed into true damage as well. So every time you crit, part of that is going to be changed to true damage, bypass armor, and still absolutely nuke people. So your crits, what, it, this sounds really, really broken, right? But the way this is actually kind of not too bad is because um, the crit would have been doing 250% damage with Infinity Edge at the one right now. Now it's only going to do 200%. It won't have the 50% increase, but some of that 200% will be true damage and bypassing armor. So you won't be bursting for as massive numbers, I guess, but you'll be transferring some of that into uh, the true damage as well, if that makes sense. So you don't crit as massive anymore, but you will be having some of that as true damage, which is kind of crazy, honestly. But it, it focuses more on the tanky targets, as they say. A few crits on a low defense target will still be really good, but less likely that I'll get two or three shotted. So that's where the late game burst is going to be reduced because of the Infinity Edge upgrade. And then obviously we have the Zeal thing as well. Moving back up, we've actually got some um, regen changes, which is another reason why AD carry is going to be harder to play in the lane phase. Be more impactful as well because we're going to have Fleet for Work nerfs and base health regen nerfs at the same time. So basically, Created carries are designed to be weaker in the lane phase. Right now, you can kind of bypass that with Doran's shield, Doran's bait, healing support, and your fleet footwork and overheal and stuff runes. But that right now is not really going to work when these changes come in. It's going to be easier to punish an AD carry. You can trade, you can actually like kill them a bit more, put them behind, and then they're pretty much going to be useless. Moving into some of our other changes though, we're going to have a rework to Essence Revert. So it's going to function as a standalone item. It's not going to be uh, dependent on crit anymore. So we are removing the dependency on crit. It's not going to scale. It doesn't have to be Essence Revert, then like a Zeal or item or whatever into Infinity Edge, like a Silver builds every game. That is going to go away. So Essence Revert is still going to be really good for champions who want to do auto plus ability damage but um it's not going to be required for a crit build anymore so maybe they keep the mana regen maybe they don't but basically we're taking this out of crit builds and putting in any build um which is going to make a bit more sense and to replace that i guess kind of we have a new bf upgrade um the bf sword upgrade of course uh, storm razor which makes your first attacks and combat more impactful so we can actually figure out what that means if we go through another change here what it is right now 3400 gold which is uh, actually quite expensive it's at the top end of what um, AD items cost right now 65 AD quite high but not the highest 25% attack speed I guess to compensate that a little bit if you haven't attacked in the last two and a half seconds your next basic attack will crit so it's kind of like a guaranteed crit at the start of combat um, which sounds really good obviously it's kind of good it's not like a dust blade where it actually increases your damage um, output like it gives you 200 300 extra damage it just means that you're guaranteed to crit at the start of combat which means you're going to burst a little bit harder at the very start um, it doesn't give you 
as much burst as a dust blade right and they're actually talking about how you can't get dust blade and storm razor together because crit plus dust blade damage is probably going to be a bit broken which is kind of a shame but it would be really broken imagine that on a Z or something that'd be stupid but when you crit as well you gain 25 percent attack speed and 80 percent uh, sorry 80 oh wow 8% move speed for one and a half seconds. Now, put that in comparison, um, Rapid Fire Can has 30% attack speed, so together this is 50% on the item, which is really, really strong. If we go back as well to other uh, builds right now, this is kind of like um, Jin's fourth shot. You get a bit of move speed, um, obviously you guarantee crit. It's not quite the same, but with the extra move speed now as well as the attack speed you get every time you crit, basically it's like a ramping item. It makes crit builds more powerful because yes, we've lost a little bit of the crit damage overall, but we've actually gained more attack speed, more move speed, and we can kite fights much, much better now uh, with this item. So yes, it seems kind of like pretty harsh, but at the same point, um, obviously Infinity Edge doing true damage now, this giving us move speed and attack speed every time we crit, a really heavy crit focus build. When we get to it, it'll be more expensive. It's not going to be as good at early game. But late game, it should actually be um, even better than what we're seeing right now. And credit carries should, in theory, do a lot more damage and absolutely rip through tanks. Have you ever had a problem with a tank in a game that is not going to happen right now at all anymore? Because you will absolutely shred them. This is also because of this change here, changing Last Whisper. And this upgrades back to total arm penetration. So right now, it's really good against tanks who are building armor. But it's really bad against um, just scaling like base armor throughout the game. So like on a squishy champion or an AD carry who doesn't build any armor, your last whisper doesn't really do that much. But with this changing back to total, it's going to be really, really good. So basically, you get this last item. Your crits are going to hurt, um, uh, bypass more armor when you're like attacking an AD carry or something like that. So even though we're getting a bit less burst from our Infinity Edge, we get it kind of back from a last whisper. Uh, super late game. Another reason our crits are going to really, really hurt. A couple of things to mention. Uh, a new keystone, Hail of Blades, which is similar goals as Storm Raider. So basically, it makes your start of combat um, damage a little bit higher. We can actually look and see what that's going to be, right? So your Storm Raider's guaranteed crit strike. Uh, it doesn't do a higher spike, which we talked about already. It's attack speed for your first few attacks. So it's actually kind of like a burst increase over the first one to two seconds of a fight. And actually somebody asked as well, which is really cool. They asked, does it work like a Jace's W? You know how when you activate it, your next three attacks are going to be doing um, bonus. Well, they come off a lot faster right, with the bonus attack speed. It basically is that. So if you delay your second or third attack, for example, with Jace's W, the same with this new Keystone, Halo Blades, um, you've lost a ton of value from your Keystone because you haven't actually used it. So basically, it's kind of like um, a, a lethal tempo, but instead of being over a prolonged period of time, it's just going to be a massive boost your attack speed um, at the very start of combat. So you're going to attack somebody. Imagine with Storm Razor as well, you're going to get a guaranteed crit at the start. Then you have the Hail of Blades. You're going to be attacking an X3 for attacks, whatever it is, um, a lot faster, and you'll be able to burst people a lot harder. So if you're playing like a Draven, for example, that would be probably quite good. Um, a Lucian maybe as well, uh, able to attack a bit faster maybe. Um, stuff like that. So that'll be how that works. And it's also in the Domination Tree, which we don't really have an AD Carry Keystone right now in Domination. There are a lot of other things that are really good though, like uh, Sudden Impact in there as well. So if you want to go for more aggressive, like a Callista, uh, like a Lucian, for example, maybe this actually would be a really good thing for Burst on an AD Carry. Last couple of things that we're going to mention, Blade of the Ring King and Bloodthirster are going to be changed uh, right now if we look down here. Blade is going to be uh, 200 gold cheaper on the build, so 3,200 total. I assume Bloodthirster is going to be pretty similar um, at the same time. There's actually just a couple of other things here, but one of the things that Storm Raider is going to be, Storm Razor, sorry, is going to be really good at is in crit heavy builds because you use it for the move speed and attack speed steroid, which is actually really good, which we talked about already. But actually, Lethality or Raw AD builds, so like a Zed, for example, or a Lucian or Misfortune building, um, that kind of thing, even though I talk about it's not that great on Misfortune. But if you build Lethality, you'll be using it to front load your damage um, and actually do a lot more at the very start of combat. So it could still be really good. It just depends whether you want that over Dust Blade, right? But anyway, so we have the Blither and King, Bloodthirster changes. We also, if we scroll down a bit more, um, we have changes. Where is it? Where is it? More Mount Mortius and uh, Guardian Angel. Why can I not see where this is actually going to be right now? Uh, oh, here we go. More Mount Mortius buffs and Guardian Angel tweaks in there as well. So it will be non-crit items changed as well, but mostly uh, just for crit ones, actually. There's also going to be a change to how base AD works. It's going to be lowered a little bit, and they're going to be increasing your AD scaling. So it breaks even late game, uh, late in the lane phase, or a bit after, apparently. But basically, it means that it's going to be a little bit more difficult to farm in the lane phase. Something they're trying to do a bit more anyway um, to separate skill level, I guess. If you can be a really good farmer, then that is a skill to have, not make it brain dead for pretty much everybody. Uh, when we look down, and mostly we've talked about this, honestly, the Infinity Edge update is going to be really good. You're going to see fewer crit strike items um, early, so 
Caitlyn, Tristana. All of these AD carries are going to have to have a different build now because rushing Infinity Edge, even though it does true damage, which is really sick, is not really going to work anymore um, in the grand scheme of the game. So the impact of creating lane is actually lower. Lucky rolls don't really impact it that much. Um, you're going to need like three items to redo really damage on a Caitlyn. Then we obviously have the AD stat changes. Um, they're going to be less oppressive to lane against, which is another really big point because um, mages, so whether they're supports, like a Zyra or a Brand or a Velkos, whatever, or if they're actually going to take the place of the AD carries, like a Ziggs we had before, remember, that's going to be easier to lane against AD carries because they don't get um, as strong as early into the game. So basically, you could play Ziggs, you spike really hard at one and two items, Caitlyn spikes really hard at three, so you're going to poke her out of lane, you're going to do a lot of damage, she can't just like use her range advantage as much anyway, and uh, basically, you'll be able to do a lot more damage uh, into the game, like a lot more impact in the game, if you're playing a mage bot lane. So you don't actually have to play AD carries bot lane anymore, which sounds really weird, but we're probably going to see a lot more mages bot, which is uh, pretty cool, honestly, anyway. Then we got the Mal more Malmortius buffs and Guy and Angel tweak. And finally, changes to actually the calling, Mortal Reminder, if I could say that. Uh, so they're going to be niche purchases. You won't pick them up all the time, but they are still there to cut your healing. That's pretty much my take on this. Let me know what you think down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. But for now, I'll uh, leave you with the robots.